Welcome on back everyone to Total War Warhammer 3 in part 15 of our legendary Yuan Bo Immortal Empires campaign. In today's episode we are here for an ambush against this quite large army of vampires here where we have our smaller force set up on the hills uh, ready to throw hands. They are fielding Voldemort himself and then his uh, very assortment of ghosts and skeletons. In the back line, we are going to have to be dealing with a couple, uh, a couple of Crypt Fours, I think there are three of these guys total, and then two Black Coaches. It's always going to be a no fun at all. Still pretty incredible looking units as the ghostly cavalcade charges on across. We have our own reinforcements going on in, like pull out of the no HUD mode, all the way over here in two minutes time. I don't think they're going to be able to actually reinforce fast enough to actually do anything in this battle, so Auto Resolve is likely going to give us less casualties than this will. But let's see if we can't hold a line here. To the fray. We ah, got the Bolt Storm, I'm going to send this over at the Tricorder, see how much damage we get. Yeah, he gets like an action so Blast of Crossbow Bolts. Not bad at all. I'm going to send this unit of Jade Warriors through to in with our uh, celestial doom dragons there. Acolyte of secrets. Acolyte of secrets. Let's give you the old searing doom. Go for the overcast right there. Keep firing on the crit cores. We've got a unit of the ghosts going round. Let's go ahead and move these guys in to head them off. Or smash them the first one of the front line. Stay here. You lads got this. Well, I suppose you guys gotta move on through now, because somehow they managed to push through our Jade Warriors. Close ranks, lads. The most aggressive push through I've ever seen. Clever, clever play out of the AI here. Bring our crossbow teams as well as going down in melee. Cross to actually be useful. They're just gonna cross through the lines, they're not even trying to uh, go down at all. Doom Dragons, you hold here against the Crypt Horrors. A little bit more ready. metal magic here. And blend apart this big blob. I got them flanked because I wasn't paying quite enough close enough attention. The eye's gotten a lot better at being very, very cheesy with their, with their gameplay. I'm here for it. She keeps miscasting, so we need to be very careful. They've got. Both of our crossbows locked down by these, uh... There's nothing we can do about it. You move in and stop them. Yeah, they should be terrified on off. That's great. Crossbows, you keep firing there. Here comes our reinforcements. Time like the present. You're gonna actually want to pull back a little bit because I think you will lose that overall flight. Drop the magic here. Make sure we're blasting in on it, this horror group. Oh yeah, the crossbows fleeing into the enemy reporters is a great strategy for us. Definitely working out. Hopefully allies can get across the field fast enough, otherwise we are in a lot of trouble. More metal spells here. Allied archers come across and actually start firing in on the flank there. Uh, Albert's come over to help out with our crossbows. We're just getting completely battered here. Yeah, they're not going to do very well fighting against the ghosts, and our alchemist is having all sorts of issues too. Alright, black coaches. Not much we can do about them at all. More metal spells down in here. Pull our lord out of the fight. He's his attacks. So many kills. That is hilarious in the worst way. Cut this group down. We'll bring the celestial doom dragon through. Adding more to their name than we really need to. Let's see if he can't help out with this black coach who is just ripping through our crossbow teams here. This group's back. Let's bring them on in. So we can get some flank shots. You two move back in. We'll have Doom Dragons go after 
uh, this black coach here. Oh, let's go ahead and drop down some more metal in on this big group of Cairn Raids. Like to your last, lads. Our crossbows are going to get torn apart by this, uh, this black coach here on the middle. See if we can't send some of these spearmen over to help out. Crossbows are decimated. We need Laura to thankfully almost this as well. But Alchemist, we need to pull her away from the fighting just for a moment. Now we've got no more magic, but it looks like that's going to be the win. Pretty brutal fight there. Learn how devastating the uh, black coaches can be when you just pull them through. Scary fight. Come away with a victory there, but one that is a little bit pyrrhic in my eyes as they managed to pull these black coaches through and rip apart our backline. I think I hate more than watching the poor archers get torn to shreds without any ability to do anything about it. We are going to absolutely give thanks to the ancestors here. Workers for the great cause. And then we get attacked by Gorst. And then this one I will likely go ahead and just give to the auto resolve. Gorst is a terrifying foe. They've only got the single black coach, though. So this would be a little bit harder for them to actually flank around behind. No, I'm just going to give this one to the auto resolve. See you later. We are old. We end up losing our Jane Warrior Halberds and a couple of our crossbow teams, but we can replenish them in due time. You will be remembered with honor. Their deaths benefits no one. Village comes on in like the cheeky lad he is to attack Mingju. I just don't think there's anything we can do about it. He's gonna give us a valiant defeat. Ah, but we know better. Oh, we are inside the settlement. Hang on now. I'm willing to at least try it. Fenders to the walls. Right, how many attack points is our bug-eyed freak enemy going to come at us? So we've got three chaos spawn from one zone here. And where's the rest of the army? Ah, oh, so just a two position vector of attack. Horseman. I actually think we might be able to hold the line here. So let's go ahead and grab... The really dragon. want the jade warriors up front. Unit of spears in behind them. Just barely peeking forward. Jade. Warriors. That way they can apply their uh, image or reflection. They are here. We got our other two Jade Warriors. I'm going to pull them across uh, to this other attack point. Where we're going to hold with our Spearmen. Who's already deployed? Neither of them. So we're going to go ahead and grab the one unit of Spears. The other unit of Spears. And then we'll have the last two big warriors kind of hanging out behind them to be the armor we need. Crossbows here. Archers behind them because we want most of our damage going on in these uh, spawn. Finishing off the spawn as quickly as we can. Archers across the other side. This also keeps them well away from village who would be a menace. And then I think we want to save for the stronger rocket towers. Grab peasant horses and just make sure there's no enemies deployed on any of the other entrances into the settlement. Oh, we are safe. What I do with, what we'll do with the horsemen is deploy them over here. In case we need a quick recapture of any points. Infantry, archers, and then let's get a couple towers deployed here. And tower over here fighting a village may not be a bad idea. This is just a bunch of hounds though, so let's let's hope they can hold the line. In fact, it would be a bad idea to have everyone all together, wouldn't it? Order and balance. Let's have these spearmen over here. Warriors. And the jade warriors kind of changing their position a bit. That way they can't all get hit by the same blast of magic. Village is gonna be a huge issue. Cannon Tower over here to help deal with the spawn of each. 
this thing started. Move up a little bit so they are actually standing on the downhill slope. The celestial faithful. Armored lads behind them. They are cannons. You focus the same unit the entire time. And same thing with our archers. Archers are going to take you guys off of fire at will. Oh, it missed and hit the marauders. That's awesome. Otherwise, we're going to waste cannonballs. That's a, also a waste. So let's go ahead and fire on this new spawn. Cannonballs, too. That way, we're not splitting up the fire at all. Where's my peasant horsemen? Let's send them on a ground. Beautiful. Alright, spears get in there. How long they can hold the line is going to seriously depend on if we win this. Shooting at our own towers a little bit there. Go ahead and start planking away at these chaos trolls if we can. Actually, no, just keep shooting these spawn. Should be an easy target now. Let's go ahead and just get in a normal tower on this side to get as much damage as we can. I don't think these guys are going to last long against all the peak fire. For the Chaos Trolls next again, my friends. All of our archers, let's go ahead and switch targets to this next group of spawn. It already has no shields. Yeah, we are hitting our own tower just a little bit, so let's go ahead and pull you guys back. Or back as you need to. We'll go ahead and chuck in the platform barricade there. That way they feel like they have to go all the way around to try to take down this group. Come on, archers. This group's actually holding line amazingly well. That is burning outside. Lots of spawn have already fallen, and every time that cannonball smashes in, that's killing a few more. If we can't fire on those trolls, we hit the spawn either way. Right, they're being pushed back now. Spearman, you move and take up the other position. Get rid of those trolls as quickly as we can. The other group is struggling pretty aggressively here. Let's see if there's any other towers we can pop in. This one's not very well defended in terms of towers. Clap those hounds that are coming on back. Cannons keep blapping these spawn and siege. Archers, you do the same. I'm gonna have these spearmen actually go around for the defend of this position here. Archers, let's see about dealing with the chaos trolls. Everything else fleeing to the hills. Alright, kill who you can then. Army losses can be one way we manage to finish them off here. We'll circle this group around, then we can try to go after the uh, trolls. Alright, we've won on this side. Let's bring you guys in now to defend the center. These trolls will keep coming back and keep getting blasted by the cannons, hopefully. I'm gonna leave this group of long spears here to actually defend, and then our archers are gonna come around. Be a huge menace on this side. Eight warriors come hold the line. Trolls are, I guess, caught up for a moment. We upgrade this up to a cannon tower. Let's do it. 30 seconds. All we need. You just coming back outside. Let's go ahead and post up. We'll bring you in when we can. Here comes Village. Everyone with a bow, start firing on the big cursed boy. Long spears can pretty easily hold against even the likes of Marauders. Getting damage on a small target like that is going to be quite difficult. Hold the line, let's go ahead and cut down as many of these hounds as we can. And we'll just let those... Power blast away at the giant. Perfect target for you. Long spears having a little bit of trouble. That is an excellent peak fire. Hold on, village. 
fighters won. Never conquered. Now we made it this far, but we may not be able to get further. We get more melee defense. The pink fire is wreaking havoc. Attack in unison. Go after his broaders. Flank in behind here after we've dealt with these uh, confounds now. Keep switching targets, which is a little bit unfortunate. I think it has very, very low a range for what it is. You guys clobber that group. That village is uh, going to be the biggest stop block here for us. Gotta stop lining up for those peak fires. Well, you guys go ahead and blast away at this group of marauders. We'll just try to see if we can deal with him by the good old-fashioned uh, army losses. Ooh, why would you run into the giant? Now, see, that's a bad idea. Come around, let the giant go on a merry chase. Dealing with this group of trolls, it comes back. Crossbow spread up a little bit, or spread apart a little bit, so they're not getting hit by the same unit. Here's doing a fine job holding against the village. Trolls in front of the village. Let's go ahead and fire crossbows at them. Blank in behind here. Try to build in some blockers before the giant gets up top. Alright, there it is. We've got him trapped in here. Switch to that incoming group of marauders. More pink fire. He's hitting both units. It's, we didn't spread them, out, and spread them out nearly enough. Come on in and flank behind. Let's leave one of the units of warriors back. That way they're not getting all hit by the same. Giant's forced to go around now. Get some shots in while you can. Realizes that the, the, those peasant horsemen are not a threat. Every archer now fire on village. Crews, you're not getting hit. Defenders of Cathay. Lock him in, because he'll likely just decide to go after our archers. That'll be the clever move. You guys come out, so there's no extra damage. This is a little bit scary. Smashes right through the barrier. If we can't hide him backwards away. Chaos Giant knows it is incredibly deadly for our peasant horsemen. Ooh, rocket to the back. Love to see it. All right, there we go. I think we got him caught. Come on down this way, friend. Wild Village is starting to lose health a little bit. He's got an absolute ton of it. Leave my archers alone, you bully. Giant's coming back on in now. Let's give him another love tap from behind. Convince him that he wants to fight my peasant horseman. Pull the Jade Warriors away a little bit. He's getting all the good angles now on his magic. Well done. We actually turned around. The uh, hive mind micro of our opponent here. Alright, Village should be starting to dwindle quite quickly. Hit him again. Archers keep firing. Let's go and put them on fire, Will. He can only take down a couple peasant horsemen at once with the swings, so that's great. Is this guy regenerating, or are we just not doing very much damage? 15% resistance. Not a lot of armor. Should be leaving him taking a lot of damage, but do it alright. More spells going down. Rocket Tower wouldn't really be all that useful. Charge, go ahead and back. And they, they will never win this fight with the Chaos Giant. Hoping just to kind of slow him down. And the village is running for the hills, which means all we got to do is have our archers switch targets, and that's the win. Very unlikely win, but we'll take it.
Here at Kanoe, we will absolutely take a victory in uh, deflecting Village of the Cursling once more. Uh, we are going to go ahead and grab the extra gold from that win as well. Emerald kind of all has been wiped out, really. So they just claim Beichai? Just like that. Now we have to deal with uh, Virilel here in a couple of their new surviving settlements. Well, that's it. That's that's the last one. Sorry, Yorn. Yorst or Ghost. Apparently, death is really an obstacle to be overcome. It must be inconvenient, however. Which is great, because it gives you poison attacks on the uh, Lord that gives his entire army uh, immune to contact effects. I think we might need to change that around just a little bit. Bit of an update. Let's try this again now. The Dragon Emperor has seen countless species rise and fall, and can teach us much of them. The ancient Chelonian turtles possess nigh unbreakable shells. This we can recreate with wood and steel. 25 more armor for our peasant long spears, and 4 more melee lifts for them. Reported unnatural appetite against Dunk got taken out. Launched into orbit, he has. So we'll just move in and deal with Virilel here. You poor fool. Extermination is the only way. And that one over to the Otter Resolve and push her into the sea. I will go ahead and take the extra experience there for that win. We've wiped out the Blessed Dread. 46 turns in is a little bit slow for my liking, but we'll take it. Now onward to deal with all of these foolish lizards. Drop into our encampment stance. It's going to take quite a long time to actually replenish up our Jade Warriors, which is gross. It'd be a marching replenish then. Leader of men. Leader of men. Let's go ahead and continue to make you better at leading men by making you hard to hit. Since we're going to be away from friendly territory for some time, uh, Ming Hu will give an additional point into scouting. We've got lots of skill points here for our Lord and Magistrate. In the previous battle, we've got Route Marcher, proved inspiring presence. We'll grab his tactics abilities here in just a moment, but let's grab the logistician. Extra uh, casualty relation rate. That'll be great. John Lay can get more training and less corruption in the area, and then also Will of the Dragons. Extra the leadership in everyone won. in the area is great for our peasants. And so shall the war. For Hin Yu G, let's go for more mobility. More income. Both of these sound perfect. Serve from the front. We have an absolute ton of gold and the ability to give ourselves an additional commercial district. Shangwu already is one. Let's come on back over to our main first province. At the Aymara Swamps. And since we don't see the little coin icon, you are free to be made into a commercial district. Welcome. Beautiful. Actually formed all through stone. Oh, I did the wrong one, didn't I? Well, that makes me sad. Well, hang on now. No, we didn't. We've already made it a fortress city, though. You can't you can't turn them back over. All right, quick jump cut so you can skip all of my dirty around my thoughts. Now that we've got things collected, I meant actually to give this one to Hexawaddle, but this will be just fine, where we have now converted the Isle of the Crimson Skull on over it. to a normal commercial district where it previously was a, a fortress city. Not what I had intended on doing, but next turn, and this will probably switch the icon back over as you look at the passives here. It is actually switched on over to the extra trade goods and income from all buildings in the local province, uh, which, yeah, works out just fine. You also get an additional 15 diplomatic relations with all factions for all of your commercial districts, so if you were looking for a more friendly route, this is going to be the way to go. Either way, Xianhuo, you are in charge of recruiting up some more troops. Already got two jet lions here. Let's give you a couple of front line. So we're going to go for Jade Warriors and a Peasants to hold the front line here. Don't really care about the Jade Warrior Halberds so much. The armor piercing is great, but I'm going to grab some more cheap expendable units for those that need to hold the line. We want one more flying cat? I think so. Flying cats for the win. 
Getting lodged in over here at the Monument of the Moon, and since that is... Barely, where's the Monument of the Moon at? It actually is on the edge where the pirates might attack. So we'll go ahead and pop in uh, the stockades there just to give it a little bit more protection. Uh, you want, but we need to go after Gentleman Jenkins. So much Not normally our job, but we can deny the pirates one of their own. Although this would probably boost everyone up a couple of more ranks because we're wiping out one of the higher tier uh, pirates. The nation Before we do, let's real quick. I think we just keep it on the Celestial Lake, honestly. 15% more income has been working out for us in the long run here. So, yep, Celestial Lake, we keep the direction at the same spot. And now we go hunt down Master Gentleman Jenkins just because. Hello, my friend. Prepare to die. No. We call to Ulrich, God of Battle, Wolves, and Winter. End this paltry threat. All right, gentlemen. Fair broadside. Oh, he runs for the hills. Are you scared? It's close to the sea. We must watch the course. Oh, a close victory it'll give us. He does have artillery, where one of the things we are lacking in, but it is just the good old mortar teams. We'll go ahead. Oh, it's going to take out Mr. K. Well, you have a beautiful looking shield there, my friend. You are doomed. Alright, time to use our overly, overwhelmingly powerful Air Force uh, to bring Gentleman Jenkins down. You're collecting on this bounty there, my friend. Set the Jade Warriors up Warriors! alongside Warriors the mountain Army. there. Warriors! Best we kind of can. Halberdiers on the sides, we're not really going to need them because there's not any enemy fast movers on the other side. We are really only going to need these guys if they actually close the gap, which would be quite sad. I want Jade Warrior crossbows being up front, getting shot at by mortars if anyone has to. And the rest of our crossbows can just take up the positions around. Beautiful stuff. Alright, so let's grab Mr. K. I'm going to have him trying to hook the cannons into firing at him and plinking off this rather sad looking kindergarten level uh, Stonehenge. We'll have our flyers ready to come across the trees here. And from two angles at once, if we can. Beautiful. And as far as our lords go, actually, since you are now flying around on a celestial bird yourself, here's our first moon bird. At the zone, arcane phoenix. So this looks like a horrifying. You fall off this bird. That's the end. This is a tiny little chair. These poor creatures. I love the other flying cat front. Gate master. Gate master. Ready to hold the line here. And you want bow charging straight through the trees. A drum up on top of the hillside here. And is all of our units deployed. Get all the single entities, get them together. And then we'll grab the infantry, our archers, and the flyers. Battle going. Reload skill, all of the flyers move forward. Yuan bow. Come through the woods here. They're actually already able to fire? Alright, that's no good at all. Stone and steel. Their choice is perfect. Let's go ahead and switch over to more armor. Everyone moving up the hill. Send the birds across. Lions move right on in. We're going after the... Going after these great cannons first. I hear the heaven. Go for a Uranian Thunderbolt to uh, disrupt them a bit. Or risk being wiped out immediately. Zoom over the top into this group of mortars. Dragon form for big boy. Then back up in the air. That way we can use their uh, alternate attacks. Which are quite great. Mortars are wasting their time going after. 
flyers. You get up here there and we'll just drop down. The execution blade on Jenkins, he's a little bit too far away. I'm gonna cast Endora Ward just fine. Bring down the righteous lances, he's being shot at by all of the units at once. Go back into normal form. Rose got hit by our own comet there. That's not fun. Get everyone else up in the air. Still firing on our Jade Lion in the background. Go ahead and land in here. Rose took a lot more damage than I would have liked. On the lances, go ahead and drop the Blossom Wind through. Back in the area with you, my friend, as we drop down some more lightning. A proper duel going. Field up for well, really no one needs it. You guys come on, you come over the top here to drop down that arcane phoenix swirl. Those great cannons, which are blasting away at our crows, cannot lose our elite crows. That'd make me sad. Jade breath through here, scare them off. Roman head back up forward to our line. Stay alive. Get moving. You go after Jenkins. Take him down if you get your fireball. And you move forward just a little bit here to use your Arcane Phoenix ability. The Moon Flare. You can actually drop down, it stays hovering above it. That looks awesome. We completely whiffed it, but it looks cool. Brown landed into this group. One bow should be able to execute their general quite easily here. Have our lion come back around. Scare this unit off. One bow, you come do the same. Let's just drop another blossom wind. There's no dodging it. I'll let this time. Move into the swordsman next. Get our crows back up in the air. Going after this unit, have the lion get his roar, scare off as many of these normie infantry as we can. Alright, they decided not to go for their attack. What's going on here, Righteous Lances? Rock. Really missed there. See if we can't cancel it. Oh, we missed. Timing just a little bit off. If you guys don't land, you're gonna lose way more men than you need to. Perfect. A victory, but a little bit of a messy one. Alright, we claim the decisive win, Gentleman Jenkins. It's sent to the bottom of the sea. Uh, we will take the veneration there for that replenishment. We lost a little bit more than I would have wanted to. You will learn your error. Voodoo's report royal have been defeated. Well, now we can go ahead and grab the full speed stance and start moving our way towards the Scorpion Coast, hopefully not taking attrition. I'm back a little bit here boats towards the Monument of the Moon. That will do. So much to do. Alright then, for your next skill point, let's go for continuing to move down the Judge, Jury, Executioner. Let's go more speed first. Go speed then health. Fit for a prince. Fit for a prince. Or an acting emperor. Celestial general. A bit more gold here with the trade exchange. <laughs> Meanwhile, Skeggy can go up to tier three, which is excellent. It's a little bit further away from a Marathi's faction. She is more likely to come after uh, come after us through the Ziggurat of Dawn or Fallen Gates than anything else. research, though. Go for just the administrative uh, subsidies. Well, let's do it. Up to a dynastic finishing for more recruit rank for our caravan masters. Even and normal lords as well. We learn. Now, can you just stay here? Out. Back in. The, that way it doesn't keep bothering back. you with, uh, you haven't moved. General. Say Tang in the army. And then we can come in and explore... On this island. Attention. Attention. Take the boats. The remnants. Strange campsite is discovered. Populated by statues. 
A fire still burns and a cooking pot bubbles, yet no living thing attends, just statues fashioned in the throes of a failed escape. Then in the undergrowth, something hisses. This needs to be a lightning fast raid. We're gonna go for those who escape for better on campaign. Jar of all souls for this lord will be wounded instead of killed in battle. Interesting. Item. During your dalliances on the high seas, you came across a stranded crew, willing to join you in exchange for food and rescue. Beautiful stuff. You've got the press ganged trait for 10 turns, so we got 15% more replenishment rate. Finally, dry Excellent. land. I think we're going to then turn this general towards uh, defending the gate. Looks like Zatan has claimed Gate of the Dragon, which is an absolute insult. That's Miao Ying's honor, not mine. For the rest of our provinces, we've got Broken Lands, more lumber. Wuhang up to tier 3. Great Canal will definitely go ahead and upgrade the Bamboo Crossing. Seems like we need a landmark here at the, the Great Canal itself. Bit of a missed opportunity. Well Springs of Eternity also go ahead and take up to the next tier. As it could give us more gold out of the Cattle Ranch. Towers at High Chai moderately increases the health of settlement walls, towers, and gatehouses in battle. Ah, that would be why we are having such a hard time cracking through those those really high tier settlements. Makes sense. We'll finally upgrade the wall springs here. And go check on our lords then. Yao Kang is in Lustria, we already knew that. Yuan Ye is still moving through the seas. We'll probably have her attack Shi Wu. And we'll have you switch over to replenishing or recruiting up some units since we don't know if the tree men here are going to stay friendly for long. I don't have a lot of good stuff through global either. Northern provinces don't have haven't built up enough allegiance points to really be that useful. I end up grabbing in some free company. Service is every Cathayan's duty. Yeah, it is. Let's go ahead and have you fall back into. You actually have to go to the other side of the Great Canal. Indeed, the bamboo crossing here is the only way to successfully navigate. You got one up here as well. A couple crossings. So we'll move back over towards Fuhang. Uh, best Shameless chance to absurdity. just go ahead and join a march. Fly the Emperor's flag. The Lord stands ready. Let me finish off Lennox. Lennox and Joss. It'll be, be scary, won't it? We lost our crossbows. The Emperor calls upon the Lord Magistrate. You can't finish them off with a quick auto resolve. Be kind. Close victory, medium casualties, we'll take it. Let's rid of these two armies we permanently. Their lives are forfeit. Fire Slayer, now you turn around and get back to recruiting some more units. Sacrifice many in the defense of Cathay. Because they decided you were the bigger threat over maybe Brother Zhao. What normal crossbows it is then. We'll switch this over to the Fire Dragon's Edict for a little bit faster replenishment. Or faster recruitment. Push Vince Chance. Or lightning strike. Let's go lightning strike instead. Speed and unity. He will a lot of the time have reinforcements behind him. A blade master for Chan Li. Beautiful. We'll also go ahead and give you those free company militia from the Hunt Marshals expedition. Or a bit of skirmishers that are extremely expendable. Not what they want to hear, probably. We just have a couple of heroes that haven't been moved yet. We'll have you move up to the Ziggurat of Dawn, or the Golden Ziggurat, that is, and we're steal some more tech. Secrets. Rikarth is consolidating all of his armies onto his islands. Which is safe, reason. but cowardly. Cruelty is without match, their villainy without end. Don't even get me started on their hair. Causes fear when fighting the Dark Elves. Alright, John. He's got a bone to pick. Or several. 
go ahead and upgrade she mine now that we've got a little bit of gold left over and can we grab a federation with our siblings yet Stephen Warlord. trade with Zufbar. onward yeah, we'll go ahead and grab trade with Zufbar. yes I let's hear what you Siphon have to their say. gold we'll hear it before yes because what what care I of the Dawi fall I and make more deals with Karak here as well, which apparently Angren has decided not to day. claim ownership of. Sure enough. We have an agreement. What? Valiant Lord. Fins of alliance with Bordello. What? I'm not interested in. Celestial. Federation with the Western Provinces. Yes, please. The Lord of the Jade Swan. As we see that Lightning Xiao Ming is surrounded by a, a Wa army. I will do better than he will. So let's go ahead and take this confederation. Our banners become one. I suppose I will listen. I suppose you will. By the I suppose we become much stronger now. Trade with Professor Karak. Welcome. Pick up to a military alliance with him? Absolutely. Welcome, Dawi. On Valaya's Valaya's health we accept. Uh, we've got Nagareth as well, so the edgy survive. high elves. You approach a dark throne. Dark throne. I pray you bring only light. No, I'm here just to bring you uh, trade. Yes. That'll work. Now I can spy on you. Stephen Warlock. Trade with Corone as I well. Sounds to... perfect. You ask for a boon. Speak, and I will see if it is within my power. I just want your money. To be honest. Most prudent. And the money of that of your people. Now, now! Okay, so how's the Wargrove of Woe doing? Are they friendly? Treaties with Midland, war with Sylvania. They don't like the Ice Court, though. Which is going to be a big no-no for us. Also not making deals with the Cult of Pleasure. She apparently respects power. Let's go ahead and take... Do you know trade who I am? He's trading with Crone, so maybe Durthu isn't going to be evil this time? Let's trade with Durthu. Also spy on them. Lord of Athelor, Trading with Porgabon is also a very good idea. Welcome you. Deliver your message. All of their it bunnies. Not a great impact with Dave. Bow to yes. Actually get to trade with Orion as well. The Perfect. Deep wood welcomes you beneath its bower. Yep, as long as we can keep the Wild Hunt well away from our people. Yes. Oh, you are no longer... Oh, no, he's still got settlements he normally does. But he has claimed Bordello and Brionne. Interesting. Right, so the mana hindlings are the last ones. War we can turn Leif good. I we can indeed the fix these Norskins. Ready. I will take the defensive pact with Reichland. Greetings from Sigma. All of our gold, we can go ahead and build yes. in some new As outposts, which is gonna be awesome. Love to take advantage here. Outposts get Karaza Karak and outpost Reichland if we can. Marienburg wouldn't be a bad call. He doesn't have very good units there. Icemund is not a major settlement. I don't believe. No, it's definitely not. Middenheim would be. Go Black Pit. A little bit too close to enemy lines, though. Verbat also. He's surrounded here. Go ahead and plop it in here at Isleheart, which will be taking advantage of the lads at Altdorf. Excellent stuff. Get ourselves an army focused entirely on the Imperials and the Dawi. Mission aborted. Impress the neighbors, which is a little bit unfortunate. Lost our outpost. Probably should have grabbed a couple more lads through... Okay, good grief. What do we have now? So, Wa armies smashing through our mountain settlements. Yufu is in the worst spot possible, so she's about to get dropkicked into orbit. Got my Grimgor here. She's got Zugrak surrounding. And what happened to Xiao Ming? So we got to keep Mother Estonkia. We got to, we got to keep the Sultan with Mother Estonkia, but Xiao Ming gets wounded. That's unfortunate. He was there, the only one defending Amble Peak. So here's what we're going to do now. Timurk, are you fighting with the ogres? No. Because we can probably make friends with them. So 
if I give the ogres back some of the mountains of Morn here, what does that do for us? Because Power she's just going to get wiped out. We're going to kick this army out entirely. Only There's no chance of defending against Grimgore. Astromancer. I'll keep all of our Astromancers, though. And we can use Feng Liang here to uh, be Zhao Ming. So let's go ahead and fall back and give the High Elves a little bit of territory. That way they can lose it. Never flag, never falter. So you sprint back towards Shenyang. A thoughtful maneuver. Which we need to do some definite remodeling in. Okay, Dragon's Edict first. Let's check our building browser here. So the only monument is the Great Embassy at Tier 5. Okay. We're very Yang aligned here in Shenyang, which I guess would make sense. Let's see if we can't switch a couple of these over, but they're very expensive. Let's go ahead and kick in. I guess we'll leave Shenyang as is for now. If anything, I want to demolish this building, replace it with our trade resources. Get the gear at Jinwu. There's a lot of bad buildings at Chang. Leave the Jade Barracks in, though, so we have access to more Gate Guardians. Shugun Gun Lord reporting. There are Shugun Gun all over the place. And in lads here at the Maw Gate. Wind Shaper. These two together might be able to hold the line. You're about to find out how we'll grab peace with Greasus. Or whatever gold he's willing to have where he has left there. That way he leaves us alone. Not going to give him any of his subtle ones back. But I think what I'll do... I'm just going to change my mind on giving settlements over to Emmerich. I think we can hold the line. Pop in here. I'm going to go ahead and demolish a couple of these military buildings. That way we can... Alchemist place them with something a little bit more useful for now. And your replenishment is not evil. So you came back over to join Qing's army. Let their feet become a fleet. The Iron Dragon. Well, here's Zhao Mei. The Iron Dragon versus Grimgore. What a battle. Well, in that case... I can't quite grab the Green Guardian, otherwise we absolutely would. We can get use the steel tokens to get a unit of uh, or a turn Did of speak? recruitment immediately. We don't have anything we can immediately get in. Unswerving duty. All right. Be that was Zhao Ming versus Grimgore Ironhide. I think it's actually gonna be best to pull back inside the settlement. But the thing is, he will likely he will likely just sit up and see just until it's blacksmith. time to uh, time for all of our people to starve to death. So oh, onward. To glory. Or your death. Good news about fighting Grimgore is he is still quite a slow lad, so as long as you focus on blowing up all of his boys, things go a little bit better than they would otherwise. You just ignore Grimgore, take out all his boys, starting with the De Immortals here, so that's going to be where our fire rate rockets are focused pretty much the entire battle. We'll have our Celestial Lions going after the Doom Beaver Catapults, and that should hopefully hopefully be enough to win us the day. He is a towering figure, isn't he? Dwarfs the likes of Xiao Ming. For now, at least. Alright, perfect. Well, that is all the time I've got for today. I have been a Space Wizard Total War. I hope you all have enjoyed today's Yuan Bow episode. If you have, remember to leave a like for the light god and a sub with the sub thumb. I'll see you on the next one.